Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to select and navigate different sounds in the Mode EX. And you can think of different sounds as being performances. And this nomenclature or naming system carries through all of the Yamaha keyboards. It's also uh, very familiar to the Yamaha Montage. Also, I'm going to show you how to store and be able to browse and select different performances that are in live set mode. And you could think of live sets as being a uh, favorites area. So this would be where you would store your favorite performances. So when you first boot up or power on the Modi X, you're actually going to be taken to a live set view. You can see at the top left here it says live set. And so in each live set, it's a collection of different performances and it may be quite a bit so much that it doesn't fit on the page here so with any one of these sounds um, if you've played around with the Mod EX or Modi X for more than a few seconds you probably can tell that you can click on these and then play different sounds and then they navigate to the other pages in this particular live set you just click the down arrow and it's kind of like going to the second page of the 16 uh, live sets that are visible on this page. So then we can go down to the next set and the next set and so forth. Let's go back up to the top. And so with each one of these live sets, there's also different banks. So right now it says preset. So these are factory preset bank that we're looking at for live sets. If we click the down arrow here, there's actually user banks and they're all empty. So this of course is where you would store your own performances to be able to quickly access them. Now why would you do that? Maybe you're gigging with a band, you're playing on stage, or you might be doing a recording session at a studio and you may want to be able to quickly access a certain collection of performances just to kind of speed up the process rather than just writing down the number or the names of these and doing keyword searches and things like that to find your sounds you may just want to put them all in one section so anytime that we're have a performance highlighted in a live set you can actually click the performance home and it goes to the performance edit pages for that particular performances. So now you're out of live set mode. You're in this particular uh, performance page. And this performance page shows the name of the performance. It also shows a few common controls here. We can get into some of these later. And then it also shows the different parts that a performance can have. So you could have layered up sounds here. This one just has one sound, but if we use the scroll wheel you can see this one has five different sounds in here or parts as they're called in a Modi X. So for instance let's play this and this one has a few ARP assignments and things like that. Um, you can also navigate this by uh, I showed you the scroll wheel. You can also use the increment and decrement buttons to kind of go up and down to scroll through these now there's many different sounds here. You wouldn't want to um, necessarily scroll through those and that way it'd be very slow. What you might want to do is look up certain sounds based on the type of sounds they are. So you may be wanting to find a certain bass sound or you may be wanting to find a certain piano sound or you may be wanting to find a certain drum kit. So then what you would more than likely do in a work type environment is you would want to do searches based on categories so you'd be able to browse and do those so if you click on the individual name here where it says caramel ice a flyout menu comes out and then there's a category search button so if you click on that category search button it brings up the performance category search now you can also access this page let me exit out of this and let's go back to live set for example you can also access by clicking on the category search button. It's handy for Yamaha to put that there because they know it's a way you're going to 
quickly be accessing this and then you can also click on the category button from there so it's always going to take you to this uh, performance category search so that's how you do it so there's two different rows here there's a main and a sub and you can think of main as being the type of sound or instrument and then the sub is really kind of like a subcategory of this so let's click on keyboard for example and then the sub would be electric piano, FM piano, clav, synth, and so forth. Um, let's click on guitar. So you have acoustic guitar, electric guitar, distortion. And when you click on each one of these subs, it shows a group of those type sounds that you can choose from. So let's click on distortion, for example, lead feedback. and let's click on this rockabilly one and so you don't only have these 16 here you can actually use a page down command or page up command you can see there's like a scroll bar here to the side you can tell where you're at to navigate all these different ones as they go down um, and then also you can click on one of these this rockabilly and then you can click on the set button and then that adds in that star right there beside of it so that's another way to kind of indicate that you uh, are singling out a certain sound but for instance let's click on this uh, rockabilly one and then go to performance home now if we want to store this into our own live set we could click on the shift and then click on live set and then there's a grid that pops up and it lets us choose which square we want to save this particular performance to. We could save it right there. And so now anytime, let's exit out and go back to live set. Let's go to the preset ones. So anytime we're here, if we wanted to go to where we stored our own live sets, you just click on the bank to go to that user one and you'd see Rockabilly is in there now if you want to remove it or if you want to move it around you can click on edit and then you can uh, you can swap or copy this or you can delete it so let's go to swap and then you just click where you're moving it to like that and then you can also delete this so if we hit the delete button it just removes it out of that user live set bank altogether. So now let's go back to the um, hit exit to exit out of the edit mode and then we'll go back to the presets. So another thing that's kind of interesting is when you're on this category search um, you may notice that uh, let's click on name for example you can select different ways that you want these to be sorted so by default certain ones are listed but R for example which is later in the alphabet is up front but what you may want to do is you may want to sort it by name in order to be able to quickly find some of these so if we look up top we see we're starting with the uh, numbers and then A for alternative rocker and scroll on down and then you'd be able to quickly find the rockabilly one by going to the R's. So this video completes the instruction on how to navigate and also store your own life sets.